Hey everyone, it's John Isaias here from The Automator, and we were just on a hero call discussing how in studio, which we're converting to be able to handle V2, by the way, um, it has this Dyna run code for launching stuff. And I found a clip back, it was like over 10 years ago in the old, old forum, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and what dawned on me is something I, I thought of the other day was, hey, the, we've, we've discussed version two is much more similar to other languages right other how other languages are written and it's streamlined and it's going to make people um want to be able to do more advanced stuff with it right because you're not getting stuck like it's easier right. to learn it's to be not limited right yeah and then and then all of a sudden you kind of get boxed in because these things that made it simple to pick up actually make it harder to do advanced stuff and version yes, two it is correct so what dawned to me then this was the to me ex really exciting part because you and i chatted the other day how to some degree, it seems like we used to in auto hockey have these amazing, uh, very advanced people right around in the libraries, and and it actually really occurred to me was like, hey, when we switch to V two and it becomes really the staple and everyone's using it, a lot of people jump. <laughs> they're, well, they're going to stay. They're going to stay longer, right? right? You know what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna lose that thing of like, hey, I'm limited now. I can do. I can really develop advanced. People programs. might yes. People yeah. are going to be able to grow. And uh, and I think one of the other things, by mistake, you're going to learn programming. <laughs> so let's say that you join awesome. AutoHotkey. Yeah. yeah so so you, you, let's say you started AutoHotkey not because you're a programmer, just because you wanted to do something swift. Well, you're, you're starting doing things. And what happens is that sometimes you get on something and you start looking for help. What happens is if you search your Google, you might find something in JavaScript that when you look at it, it looks right. so similar to our hotkey code that you... That's actually happened to me plenty of times. Right. Yeah. And then the point is, you are learning JavaScript by mistake, right? And then it, it actually makes you a little bit better. And um, for the people who are growing without a hotkey, for example, in your case, you have been without a hotkey for more than 10 years. Even if you were not a programmer, or even if you didn't start programming, you have grown with AutoHotKey. Understanding certain programming concepts with V2, that's going to happen faster because everything is more in a programming kind of idea. So anything you learn is actually programming, definitely. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And when you think about it, when you're learning something, usually there's a learning curve at the beginning, right? And then you get past it, and then you kind of, it becomes... I'm not going to say linear, but it's much clearer, like you keep growing. Well, with V1, it's kind of funny. We had a quicker, a, a less of a learning curve. So you were in it. it was very, yeah. But then when you start doing advanced stuff, it's like, oh, my it, God. It, it jumped that, really high. Right. right. It jumped. So, so it was very soft at the beginning. Yeah. But then as soon as you wanted to do anything that had to do with expressions, there was a step up right there that it was right. too hard. Right. Now, now what, what is happening now is that you have to still learn expressions but right. now instead of being such a hard you know change in the curve it's going to be kind of like a yeah you have to learn it from yeah. the beginning that's it you're so, not jumping through hoops to get around no. quirkiness of auto hockey so that's i was really it. excited because i'm like i think in the long run i i really get it now that yeah. this is a great move for auto hotkey right it, it's it'll make it a little harder to pick up at the beginning but people will stick with it longer and we'll end up having people that stay around in auto hotkey longer for long periods of time and keep right. using it and developing really cool stuff. So Right. Now, and this is the other, I think I brought you this question recently. I was just asking, okay, hold on. We were talking about people who don't know how to program newbies, whatever it is, right? So are we doing a disservice to them right. by right. not doing this, by not switching to V2? Or are we doing them a favor for because of switching to V2? It depends. I think in the long run, at the beginning, it's going to be really hard. People don't like it. I don't know. I don't like change, whatever. But I think in the long run, they will benefit more from V2 than from V1. Right. I, I definitely right. think that. Yeah. And again, we keep looking at the V1, V2. By the way, we have a course right now. It's on sale uh, yeah. on the tr make it transitionally painless to move from V1 to V2. Yeah. Right. But um, yeah, it's... It's a little harder to pick up, but not a lot. And I think in reality, to your point, you know, more people, well, maybe slightly, slightly less. I shouldn't say more people. Maybe there'll be some people that just give up because it just yeah. they couldn't get going. 
But yeah. of course, V1 is still available, so they could use V1. Yeah, it's not that it's not that we're forcing you to pick between the two. You can have them both at the same time, and you're going to be just fine. Or you can just choose not to switch at all. That's also a valid option. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> but let us know in the comments if if you're planning to switch. But honestly, like we we both agree, you know, you look at the code, it's it is it's just much cleaner, much easier to understand. And as you get better, the I know from talking to Maestria, it's one of the reasons why he left. He doesn't really program in Auto Hockey anymore. He he does C sharp, yeah. and uh, it's just a lot of people that have been around and programming for a long time. They they switch to other languages that are you can get more done easier. And I think we're gonna stop having the that. Issue. Yeah. Right. yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, like the video um, if you learned something here or agree with us or don't agree with us. Like it twice if you don't agree with us. And then uh, don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss out on one of these videos. Cheers.